today we're going to fill these up with the potting soil I made. Potting soil, the soil mixture for my seeds that I made. So I'm gonna be doing a 128 cell, a 72, and then I have some 50 ones because what I wanna do is, transplant these babies so in here we have sweet marjoram lemon balm which I, that's where I'm gonna put because they're they're smaller plants I'm gonna put those in the 128 cell lemon balm thyme chamomile there's chamomile in here uh, the straw flower one is also fairly small and these bigger plants like the marigolds and these Calabrese, the Napa cabbage, some cauliflower. I'm gonna see if I could put those in the 72 cell and then the lettuce probably in the 50 cell tray. So how I put soil in these. And then I like to go in here and push them, pack them down. That way when you go to take it out, you could either take it out with a butter knife once you're ready to transplant them into your garden beds or your containers. They don't fall apart on you. They stay nice and intact. So now that I've squished all of them, I'm gonna do it again. I'll probably do it like two, three times just because it's nice fluffy soil that doesn't just get tightly packed in there on its own. So yeah, I do it about three times. I push twice and then I add a final layer. So, and it won't need that much the third time around. working myself up to do these transplants because there's probably quite a few hundred in there. Okay, and so that's ready for planting. So I'm going to do these now for the rest of them. So there you have it. I just did, I prepped one, two, three, four, five, six, six different trays with different size cells um, to fit the different needs of these little seedlings from the soil mix I made. And so what I like about doing it like this is that I've already prepped hopefully enough trays to be able to transplant these. If not all today, I'll get to them maybe the day after tomorrow, so Sunday. But at least I already have these trays ready for them. So I don't have to, cause what I was doing before was when I was done filling one tray, I would put the seedlings in there and then when I was done putting all the seedlings in there, I would go refill another one. And so I find that this way is easier. Since my mom helped me do that the other day, I'm like, okay, well that's much 
that's much easier. I'll just prep a bunch and then I'll be ready to transplant. And I don't have the excuse of, well, I don't have any trays ready. All my trays are ready. 